Hello. Uh, this is a reading of uh, a play called Adam's Letter. It's a work of fiction. I found the script when uh, I found out about the script when I was watching the music video for Adam's Song uh, by Blink 182. I will be playing all the roles. Um, I'm just going to do one act. Uh, for now. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I hope you, jeez, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Hello? Oh, hi, Mom. I can't talk louder, Mom. Because I'm in a funeral home. Yes, I did. Mom, I told you about this. This morning at breakfast? Yes, the kid who committed suicide last week. No, Sean's with me. Well, after this we're playing a game about to eat. Well, I guess I can, sure. How about I call you when we're done here? I don't know, 30 minutes or so? Okay, I will. Love you too. Bye. Who is that? My mom. Nothing more embarrassing than having your phone ring in the middle of a funeral home. Hence the reason I don't carry one. Oh yeah? You visit funeral homes often? No, I mean, I don't want my mom to be able to reach me anywhere I go. Oh, to have such freedom. How is everything in the here? <sighs> it's not pleasant. Adam's mom was almost inconsolable. Are a lot of people? Surprisingly, no. Just some relatives, a few friends of the family. No one from school? Ms. Bader's inside, nobody our age. Mrs. Bader? I had her in eighth for English. So did Adam, apparently. Plus, she lives across the street, so she's kind of here for the family. I can't believe no other students are here. Did he have any friends? Got me. I mean, he had acquaintances like the rest of us in the sci-fi club, but Adam always seemed to keep to himself. That's so sad, having no one from school to mourn him, and no one who could have seen it coming. He never acted depressed that I knew. He laughed and, like, smiled like every other person in the sci-fi club. He could quote everything from Logan's Run to Buckaroo Banzai. An important life skill, I'm sure. Son of a true fanboy. Far from an indicator that he would blow his brains out. <laughs> Don't put it that way, Sean. What if his family heard you? Marty? Hi, Sean. What are you doing here? Not a lot. I'm here to see a friend. A friend? Someone who knew Adam? He was Adam. I'm sorry. Didn't know. It's okay. Uh, this is Nicole Edwards. I know who she is. It's good to meet you, Marty. Sorry it's under these circumstances. Yeah. That makes two of us. So you're really here to see Marty off to the great adventure? We sure are. Forgive my asking, but did you even know Adam? Not exactly. We spoke once or twice, incidentally. But we didn't talk on a day-to-day -day basis. Too bad. You might have liked him if you'd given him a chance. I'm sure I would have. Guess we'll never know now. So what are you really doing here? Same as you. You came for Adam. You didn't know him either. So? He was a classmate. We wanted to come. And you're being class officer? 
had nothing to do with this? No. Well, sort of. I am here on behalf of the rest of the class. And the school, no doubt. They asked you to come, didn't they? I'm telling the truth. <laughs> if you say so. I had made up my mind long to come long before they asked. This had nothing to do with the school trying to give the appearance that Adam went to school with kids who cared. Nothing. Or the website. What website? You have read the manifesto, right? I don't know what you're talking about. The website. Adam's suicide note? His manifesto. You've read it, haven't you? I haven't heard of it. Please. Honest, this is the first... Sean, do you know anything about this? Nothing. Poor Adam. Even in death, no respect. He sent a letter to the school district with instructions to give it out to the rest of the student body. Good thing he, sh he made sure to pass the, the address on to me as well. Why would a, a, why would a kid send a letter, a suicide note to a school district? Sorry. What is this all about? Adamsletter.com the place to go on the web to read Adam Kriegel's farewell, farewell address to his parents, his school, his classmates, even you, Miss Class Vice President. <laughs> Thought you a school officer. <laughs> Me? Oh, didn't I tell you? You're one of the people he mentioned by name. Whoa, whoa, wait a, wait a sec. What's that supposed to mean? Mentioning her by name. Adam made special mention of folks he considered to have left. How did he put it? A significant impact on his life. Doesn't sound like he meant it in a positive way. You know better than I, Nicole. I never did anything to hurt Adam. At least, nothing I remember. Same here. What could he possibly have to say about us? You'll have to look it up for yourself. On the internet? Adamsletter.com. Check it out for yourselves. You didn't hear anything about this? No. What do you make of it? I don't know. But if it is a tell-all manifesto, like she says, I can only imagine the uproar it's going to cause.